Well, hello, good people, and welcome back. I guess back. I don't know. Okay, I just don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Sush Katawa Shoujo. <laughs> All this. So, this guy, so our main character, Zhao, just got a lot of prescriptions. Because he wants to go home from arrhythmia. You know. All this. For the rest of my life. Every day. I'm afraid that's the best. I'm afraid that's the best we can do at this point. However, new medications are always being developed. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that list fade over the years. Years? What kind of confidence booster is that? I'd have felt better if he hadn't said anything at all. Also, I've spoken with your parents, and, believe, and we believe that it would be best if you don't return to your old school. What? Also, I've spoken with your... Oh, yes. What? Please calm down. Please calm down, Hisao. Listen to what the doctor has to say. Calm down. The way he says it tells, tells me he knew full well that I wouldn't like it. Am I going to be homeschooled? Whatever my concern shows, it's ignored. We all understand that your education is paramount. However, I don't think that it's wise for you to be without supervision. At least not until we're sure that your medication is suitable. So you don't even know if this will work. <laughs> so I've spoken to your parents about the transfer. It's a school called Yamaku Academy that specializes in dealing with disabled students. Disabled? What? Am I? It has 24 hour nursing staff. And it's it has a 25 nursing staff, and it's only a few minutes from a, a highly regarded general hospital. The majority of students live on campus. Think of it as a boarding school of sorts. It's designed to give students a degree of independence while, co while keeping help nearby. Independence? It's a school for disabled kids. Don't try to disguise that fact. If it was really that free. Oh, I'm sorry, if it was really that free, there wouldn't be a 24-hour nursing staff, and you wouldn't have a hospital being nearby a selling point. Of course, that's only if you want to go, but your mother and I aren't really able to homeschool you. We went out there and had a look a, a couple of weeks back. I think you'd like it. It looks like I really don't have a choice. Compared to other heart problems, people with a ear condition usually tend to live long lives. You'll need a job one day, and this is a good opportunity to continue education. This is an opportunity. Don't call it an opportunity. Don't call it a goddamned opportunity! Well, you should be excited at the chance to go back to school. I remember you wanted to return to school, and while it's not the same one, a special school. That's an insult. That is what I want to say. It's a step down. It's not what you think. All of the students there are pretty active on, in their own sort of way. It's geared towards students that can still get around and learn, but just need a little help. In, way, in one way or another. Your father's right, and many of the graduates of the school have gone on to do amazing things. A, pers a, a person doesn't have to be held back by their disability. One of my colleagues in another hospital is a graduate. I don't care. A person doesn't have to be held back by their disability. That's what a disability is. Wow, no pudding, Sherlock. Yes, I'm going to say puddings now. I've accepted it from... <laughs> uh, what's, what was that called again? Uh, Re-Prince of Nigeria. I really hate that something so important was decided for me. But what can I do about it? A normal life is out of the question now. It's funny. I'd always thought my life was actually kind of boring. But now I miss it. I want to protest. I want to blame the lack of reaction on shock or fatigue. I could easily yell at something now. Something about how I can go back to school anyway. But, no. I don't say anything. The fact is that I know it's futile. I look around the room, feeling very tired of all this. The hospital, doctors, my condition, everything. I don't see anything that would make me feel any different. There really isn't a choice, I know this, but the thought of being going to a disabled school, what are those even like? As much as I try to put a positive spin on it, on this, it's very difficult. But let me try. 
A clean slate isn't a bad thing. That is all I can think of to get me through this. At least I still have something. Even if it's a special school, it's something. It's a fresh start, and my life isn't over. It would be a mistake to just resign myself to thinking that. At the very least, I'll try to see what my new life will look like. Oh, so I'm going to be a Batman thing. Oh well. This is good too. Act 1. Life expectancy. The gate looked far too pompous for what it was. In fact, gates in general seem to do that, but this one especially so. Red bricks, black wrought iron, and grey plaster stumbled to a hole that didn't feel welcoming at all. I wondered if it looked like that white a gate for a skull should look like, but couldn't really decide. Probably no. Of course, I didn't want to get stuck on thinking about the gate for too long, so I entered through it with a brisk pace that felt surprisingly good. Moving forward feels good. Yeah, tell yourself that. Get pumped up. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. So I walk towards the main building of Yamaku Academy. With this brisk, brisk pace, I'm alone, as my parents are taking my stuff to the dorms. And there's supposed to be someone waiting for me. The grounds are incredibly lush, filled with green. It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds a school would have, more like a park, with a clean walkway going past trees, and a smell of fresh cut grass and all other park-like things. Words like clean and hygienic pop into my mind. It makes me shudder. I shake them off. Stay open-minded now. It's your new life. You have to take it as it comes. Good job! Don't be an emo person! So sorry to the emo people. Okay. That's what I tell myself. A few bu big buildings loom behind the leafy canopies, too big and too many for just a school. Everything seems off. It's different from, from what I thought I knew about schools. It's an uncanny valley, even though I was told this is my new school. In the back of my head, it doesn't feel like one. I wonder if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of a school for the disabled. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kinda eerie. It makes me wish there was somebody here so I could anchor myself to something tangible instead of having this feeling that I step into another dimension. Maybe you have. Maybe this is all a dream and you were just knocked out. Who knows. I actually haven't played past this. <laughs> okay. The trees hum with the wind and the green hues flashing all around me catch my attention. It makes me think about hospitals again. How they say the operating rooms are painted green because green is a calming color. So why am I feeling so anxious despite all this greenery? Only after I stand in front of the haughty main buildings, I surprise myself by realizing why the gate bothered me. It was the last chance I had to turn back. Even if I had no life I could return to. But still, after entering there was absolutely no way I could go back anymore. Feeling nervous, and with this realization set in my head, I opened the front door. A tall man with bad posture notices me. As I enter, we are the only per people in the lobby, so it's only logical. You must be Ni Na Niki? Nikai. So you are! Excellent! I'm your homeroom and science teacher. My name is Muto. Welcome! We exchange a handshake that is neither firm, firm nor sloppy, and he looks at his watch. Watch. The head nurse I asked you for a brief check-in visit, but there's no time for that now. Or should I go later? Yes, afternoon is probably fine. We should get going and introduce you to the rest of the class. They're waiting already. Waiting for me? I don't really like being the center of attention, but it's an idol in a situation like this. Somehow, not knowing what is waiting for me makes me feel really nervous. Thinking of this, I almost miss what the teacher is saying. Do you want to introduce yourself to the class? I am going to- oh. Ah, has a checkmark for when here before. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, sure. I mean, isn't that normal? I haven't played it in just an hour there. Of course. But not everyone likes to be the at the center of attention. Yes, that's what he said. <laughs> <gasps> that guy can- that's a psychic. That British person. <laughs> the British professor. With a very scraggly- 
The guy with the very scraggly beard is right. If he's a psychic, it's obvious. Honestly. Let's go then. My heart is pounding in my chest, and it keeps me thinking about my condition as I follow the teacher up the stairs. The third door down the third floor corridor is marked as the classroom for class 3-3. Buto opens the door and enters. Oh, was he talk- oh, whatever. Good morning, everyone. So I'm late again. I hesitate for a split second at Thor, freezing on the spot. Ah, get a grip. This is a big step. I know that. But there isn't any point to worrying so much about it. At least not this soon. I f ooh, alright, so I'm an ally. So that person has no hand. That person is like. <laughs> he has no ear and he's obviously an artist. You guys know what that is, honestly. And unless you guys never went to history class. That is a blind person with a cane, or a person without marrow in his legs. Like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> uh, that person is Two Face. Uh, that person is very Asian. Because of his. Sorry. So, seriously, I'm Asian, okay? Seriously. I'm, I'm, this is a, it's a racist if I'm insulting my own race. That's regular girl, I don't get that. That's a regular girl too. That is a regular girl. They all seem pretty normal. I, I don't get it, but oh well. Maybe someone's right... I know it. So I know this. There's supposed to be a person without a right thumb. I just don't know who it is though. Oh well. I follow the teacher into the classroom look around, partially so I won't have to meet the curious gaze of my new classmates. It's pretty spacious, the ceiling is unusually high, and there's lots of space left over around and in between the desks. An entire wall taken up by the blackboard and the high old fashioned window only makes it seem larger. The students' desks are just standard wooden desks, with a shelf underneath for, for books and wooden chairs with metal frames. Simple and efficient. I stop walking in front of the classroom and face the other students. They all look normal, like students in any other school. But then, why would they be here? They're probably like me and have something wrong with them. Only it's just not immediately obvious that I noticed that one of the girls seems to be missing a thumb with the right hand. Who? <sighs> it's a little jarring. <laughs> Who could? Who doesn't have a thumb? I don't get it. Oh well. Maybe that person doesn't have a thumb. And, yeah. Maybe that person doesn't have a thumb. Who knows? Despite the natural tendency to listen when someone's talking to about you, I tune out the teacher's speech halfway through while he introduces me to the class. That person has no arm. That person just seems like a pretentious prick. That person is uh, pretty... Oh, she has a little leg to something. It's nothing to do with her leg. Uh, that person seems pretty regular. I've actually met these two. That person's deaf. That person's always obese. And that person, I don't know, ADHD or something. <laughs> She's staring at the window, so I can only assume. <laughs> Despite the natural tendency to listen. Oh, okay. I notice a flash of dark hair and see that someone is looking at me. A girl with really long straight hair that is pretty eye-catching. As she sees me looking back at her, she covers her face with her hands, as if to make her- That's Two-Face! As if to make her invisible. There is one boy with a cane leaning against the lockers at the rear of the class. It's weird seeing someone so young with a cane. It's bra- It's Bat- It's Batman. Alright, uh, guys, uh, should we meet the class, or should I end it? Another girl seems to be making some weird hand motions, sign language? As she peers at me over the rim of her glasses, then goes back to whatever she's doing. Yes, that's that girl. Okay, so, uh, I'll end it off here, see ya, and uh, next time we will find out what we're going to be doing in class today. And hopefully our uh, introduction will be good. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> uh, well, like, well, I know what happens, but you guys obviously don't. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'll read that next time. She's, well, I, I'm gonna read it now. She's kind of cute. So is a cheery, good-looking, cheery-looking girl with pink hair sitting next to her. She's really hard to miss. I don't know how I didn't notice her the moment I walked in. Alright, guys. See ya. <laughs>